Fang. I'd be happy to help you with your certification exam. Go ahead and ask me the questions, and I'll do my best to help you select the correct answers. Thank you very much, Jenny. Question number one is, what type of VPN is configured and managed directly from the user's computer? Option A, point-to-site VPN. Option B, express route VPN. Option C, site-to-site -site VPN. The correct answer for this question is option A, point-to-site VPN. Point-to-site VPN is a type of VPN that allows individual computers to connect to a virtual network in Azure. Users can configure and manage point-to-site VPN directly from their own computer without the need for any additional infrastructure on their local network. Thank you very much. Question number two. You have two sets of virtual machines. One hosts databases and the other hosts applications. You want to maximize communication between these two machines. What can you do to improve their communication? Option A, establish a virtual network for the machines to operate within. Option B, establish load balancers to speed up communication. Option C, connect the two machines to the internet. The correct answer for this question is option A, establish a virtual network for the machines to operate within. Establishing a virtual network in Azure allows you to create a secure and isolated environment for your virtual machines to operate within. This ensures that communication between the machines is fast, reliable, and secure. Load balancers can be used to distribute incoming network traffic to multiple virtual machines to improve performance but it does not necessarily improve communication between specific virtual machines. Connecting the two machines to the internet would not necessarily improve their communication either. Thank you. Final question. Consider this CIDR notation 198.158.0.0.-12 which number determines we, how many IP addresses are available within this virtual network address space? Option A, none of these answers. Option B, 198. Option C, 12. Option D, 158. The correct answer for this question is option C, 12. In CIDR notation, the number after the IP address indicates the number of bits used to represent the network portion of the address. In this case, there are 12 bits used to represent the network portion, meaning that there are 20 bits remaining to represent the host portion. These 20 bits result in a total of 2 to the power of 20, or 1,048,576, IP addresses available within the virtual network address space. Thank you, Jenny. That will be all. Bye. You're welcome. Good luck with your certification exam. Feel free to reach out if you have more questions. Bye. Entonces, como se puede ver, la waifu ya que desarrollé me puede ayudar no nada más para yo platicar con ella y pasar un rato, güey, divertido. También me puede ayudar a contestar exámenes. Súper genial, güey. Eh, bueno, voy a regresar al stream.